<laughs> Dog, this is hilarious. I am laughing, 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 laughing. Oh, taking my lunch break. Pistachios, apple, almonds, water. Taking my lunch break. Oh, man. And I shout out to Max, man. I appreciate you sending me that thing. Uh, what's, what's his name? Marcos. Marcos did an interview with Steven Espinosa, dog. The man said he's going to depend on TikTok. <laughs> the man said, oh, we ain't doing no press conferences. We we, we going to go viral on TikTok. <laughs> you can't make this up, dog. You cannot make this up. So you're broke. You ain't got no money. You don't want to see. So you mean to tell me TikTokers don't want to see Tank Davis face off with Ryan Garcia? And if they don't do a press conference in L.A. and Texas, it's going to flop. At the very least, you got to do Texas and L.A. If you don't, Oscar De La Hoya in Texas with Ryan Garcia? With a black... Uh, let's see. How can I name him? Black Urban? Is that what, is that what, the, is that what they use? Urban? <laughs> urban Fighter? And you won't go to Texas with... Oscar De La Hoya? Wow. You won't go to L.A. with Ryan Garcia and Oscar De La Hoya? You're going to depend on TikTok to promote? Has Ryan Garcia ever sold out a fight? Where does Ryan Garcia fight? L.A., Texas, undercard of Canelo in Vegas. Ah, uh, interesting. The gate is fine. The gate is fine. We ain't we ain't debating. We ain't debating the gate. We ain't debating it. It's, it's just how big they want it to be. Are they afraid the stadiums don't look too small? Do they want to put a premium on the ticket so they go to MGM, or do they want a happy medium with T-Mobile? You know, it, it's it's on them. But it's gonna sell out T-Mobile and or, uh, but pay per views? No, you stupid. He is. Oh my gosh. Steven Espinoza. That generation knows how to stream. That's how you. That's how they understand TikTok. I don't have TikTok, but I I heard about it. I understand. If I have Instagram, if I have YouTube, I, if I've been on the internet, I kind of have an understanding of uh, of how it works. You know what I mean? So you're dependent on some 25 year olds who are computer savvy, who are working making $30,000 a year to buy a pay-per-view? <laughs> I know business, man. I know business one-on-one. -on -one. And what I know about business is you always got to do the things you need to do. Do you understand what I'm saying? You always got to pay on time. You got to have the supplies. You got to show up on time and you leave when you're supposed to leave. These are business etiquettes one-on-one. -on -one. Showtime and Steven Espinoza have to do business one-on-one. That's it. So we're going to depend on TikTok. That is the... That's sad. Hey, Oscar. Oscar. You better step in. Because going viral versus telling a 40, their 45-year-old father, their 45-year-old mom, shit, in this generation, your 45-year-old grandma. <laughs> I'm just saying. You know what I mean? Like, it's not adding up. Alibis ain't adding up, man. You know what I mean? So... Like a 25-year-old, like 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 a million 25-year-olds are going to buy this pay-per-view. No, man, it's me. You got to convince me. You got to do your part to convince me to have a fight party. I have a mansion. I'm a DECA millionaire. 
I'm <laughs> You got to convince me. You got to convince 45 year old men to watch two 25 year olds. One that's never had a belt. Ryan Garcia got to be seen in public as a trusted figure, not a YouTuber. Oh my gosh. I'm done. I'm done with this. Well, you better hope and pray that Jake Paul and Ryan Garcia links up. I, I'm just saying, you better pay Drake Paul $50,000 to fly to LA and hang out with uh, Ryan Garcia for a day and Oscar De La Hoya. I mean, if you depending on TikTok to go viral, oh my gosh. It can. It can. But... See, the difference between Floyd and Manny Pacquiao, what people don't understand, Floyd and Manny Pacquiao at 40 and 37, whatever, hold, hold 39 and 30. So I don't know how old they were, but they were in their at least late 30s. They're appealing to the real working class, people who own houses, people who take their kids to softball and uh, go visit grandma on Saturdays, go to church on Sunday. No, man, these 25-year-olds don't spend money $70. I know. Because you know what they're going to do? They're going to call me, Fred, you get in the fight? That's what they say. Fred, no, nah, I'll just stay home and stream it. I'm good. That's the truth. But anyways, y'all do what you do. In business, you always got to do. You always got to do what you need to do. You understand what I'm saying? Always got to do what you need to do. So anyways, man, y'all have a great day. Barbershop Conversations. Feel free to hit the subscribe button. And uh I'm gone. Steven, you, you Steven, y'all y'all gotta get y'all gotta find a promotional budget. Ryan Garcia and Tank Davis need to see each other in LA next week. And then two days later they need to go to Texas. And uh I would I would challenge y'all to go to New York. I would challenge y'all. I mean, they get to see each other three times and they get tired of each other and they get mad on the third day. Got to travel five. Let's see, 1,000, 2,500, then back to training in LA and Vegas. That's about 6,000 travel miles. They gonna get tired of each other. You got to do what you're supposed to do. Do Always do what you're supposed to do, right? And and you will win. Like in a relationship, do what you're supposed to do. Don't you don't want no cool points. Don't don't tell your son or daughter to do it. You do it. Show up on time with the tools that that's needed for the job. I'm gone. Peace. And a prom and a press conference is needed for this job. I'm gone. Peace.